how do you install the Inokim OXO speed limiter that is connected to also the OXO immobilizer? Okay, this is a two in one. So, it's single connection, a single device with both the speed limiter and the immobilizer connected to a single OXO. Okay, so on the rear controller, which is the 102, okay, you just connect it. So it's male and female, so you won't be able to get it wrong. And to the front controller, the 103. Okay, that's the mobilizer starting up. Okay, so now we have connected both the front and the rear controller of the white tool to the immobilizer. Okay, can we uh, show it? Turns on now. Okay, wait. Now to turn it off. Okay, that's how you turn it off. And then to turn it on. Okay, you can't turn it on until you hit the power here. When you hear the beep, then you can turn it on, and that's where it turns on. Okay, so we can run it. Okay, so this is the speed limiter. Okay, so this is the unlimited, and if we limit it, it's going to go down to around 25. Okay, and we unlimit it, it's going to go up to about 50. Okay. So this is the unlimited, and this is the limited. And of course, when you deactivate the immobilizer, when you turn it off, it shuts off the whole thing. So this is the combined speed limiter with the immobilizer on the OXO. If something does go wrong with the speed limiter or the immobilizer, simply disconnect it by reversing the steps. Let's disconnect the rear controller and plug in the original connectors together and then disconnect the front controller connections and plug in the original connections together. And depending on where you're from, if you need to adjust your speed limit down from 25 down to 20 or 22, then you can use the golden screw on the speed limiter adjustment knob to adjust your speed down.